Hi everyone, welcome back to Cindy and Starlet. And if you're new here, wake up. Welcome, enjoy the videos. Videos. So today, me and Cindy are going to be reading Disney's The Return of Jafar. So let's start. Once upon an Arabian night, a band of thieves stole a wonderful treasure. Not bad for one night's work, said their leader. His name was Abbas Mal. The, the thieves didn't know they were being watched. Suddenly, a furry hand shot, shot out of the darkness. It belonged to a monkey named Abu. Abu plucked a flower-shaped jewel from the treasure. Thief, put that back, shouted one of the robbers. Just then, Aladdin swept down on his magic carpet. He scooped up Abu and all the treasure, too. Then away they flew to the city of Agrabah. Oh, right here. Aladdin gave the treasure to the poor people, but he saved the flower-shaped jewel for Princess Jasmine. Meanwhile, far out in the desert, a parrot burst out of a magic lamp. The parrot's, the parrot's name was Lago. Lago, get me out of this lamp, shouted a voice. It belongs to Lago's cruel master, Jafar. Lago did not want to see did not want to free Jafar, ever. So he dropped the lamp down a well and flew away. Once after being tricked by Lago and Jafar, Aladdin had found a different lamp. The kind-hearted genie who lived inside it helped Aladdin win Princess Jasmine's heart. Jafar had tried to steal the throne from Princess Jasmine's father, the Sultan, but Aladdin had come to the Sultan's rescue. Then Jafar got hold of Aladdin's lamp. He wished to be a powerful genie. Jafar got his wish, but he forgot where genies have to live. He and Lago were pulled down into the lamp. The genie had thrown the lamp far into the desert. Now Jafar was at the bottom of a well, but Lago was back in Agrabah. Aladdin and Abu were crossing the square when they saw the parrot. Lago, what are you doing here? Aladdin asked. Just then, Abbas Mal spotted Aladdin. There's the boy who stole our gold, he shouted to his men. Men, the thieves attacked. If I don't do something, I could get hurt, Lago said. So he dropped a potted plant on a board and sent Abbas, Abbas Mal flying. The thieves ran away and Aladdin was saved. Aladdin was grateful. Lago, he said, I've misjudged, I misjudged you. You're not such a bad fellow after all. Lago smiled. No one had ever said such a nice thing to him before. Certainly not his former master, Jafar. That afternoon, Aladdin gave Princess Jasmine the jewel. Jewel. Suddenly, they heard a familiar voice. I'm back, the voice called. It was their friend, the genie. He showed them all the wonderful places he'd seen. Aladdin and Jasmine wanted to travel the world too. At that moment, all Abbas Mel wanted was water. He went to a well and pulled up the bucket. What's this lamp doing here? He asked. Abyss Mal rubbed the lamp to dry it. Out came a towering genie. I am free at last, thundered genie. Not genie, Jafar. Jafar charged, changed back into his human form. He didn't want to frighten Abyss Mal. You are now my master, Jafar told the thief. You may have three wishes. Abyss Mal quickly wished for the treasure of a legendary sunken ship. So Jafar sent him to a shipwreck at the bottom of the sea. I can't breathe, squirted Abbas Mal. Please save me. Jafar brought the greedy man back to land. Your second wish has been granted, Jafar said. Before I grant your last wish, you must take this lamp to the palace. Aladdin was at the palace with the sultan. Please forgive Lago, said Aladdin. He saved my life. 
I will pardon Lago, replied the sultan, but you will be in charge of him. If that parrot gets in any more trouble, I will blame you. That evening, Abyss Mal crept into the palace. He put the magic lamp on a table beside Lago. Jafar flew out of the lamp in a huge cloud of smoke. Your master is back, he said to the startled parrot. If you wish to live, you will do as I say. You must get the sultan and Aladdin out of the palace. Lago was afraid of Jafar, so the next day he spoke with Aladdin. Perhaps the sultan would like to take a ride on your magic carpet, he said. What a splendid idea, Aladdin replied. Soon he and the sultan were flying high above the desert. Good, cried Jafar. The sultan and Aladdin are gone. It is time to steal, not steal, it is time to deal with Aladdin's friends. Jafar took the genie by surprise. The genie fought back, but Jafar, no, wait. The genie fought back, but after a brave struggle, he was defeated. Jafar trapped the genie inside a glass ball. Then he locked Abu in chains. Lago felt terrible. His new friends were in danger, and it was all his fault. Jafar sent for Abbas Mal. These flying horses are for you and your men. Use them to capture the sultan, he ordered. Aladdin did his best to protect the sultan, but it was no use. Abbas Mal's men seized the sultan. Then Jafar turned a river into a rising funnel. Aladdin was pulled down, down into the raging water. Next, the evil Jafar captured Jasmine. Thanks for your help, he said to Lago. Soon I will have total revenge on Aladdin. Jasmine and her father glared at the guilty parrot. Lago had never felt so ashamed. At last, Aladdin finally made it back to the palace. But the palace guards were waiting for them. You have kidnapped the sultan, they shouted. Now you will pay with your life. The palace guards arrested Aladdin. Jafar's plan was working perfectly. Lago felt so guilty. This was all his fault. But what could a parrot do? Suddenly he had an idea. Lago picked up the glass ball with the genie inside. Then he dropped it on the floor. The ball shattered and out flew the genie. I'm off to save Aladdin, he cried. He got there in the nick of time. Jafar was furious. He became a genie. A genie again. How many times do I have to get rid of you? Jafar shouted at the genie. He attacked the genie with all his might. Again, the genie was no match for the evil Jafar. The lamp, cried Aladdin. To get rid of Jafar, I must destroy it. Next, Jafar became a wild volcano. Everything he touched turned to fiery liquid. Then Jafar saw Aladdin reach for the lamp, so he melted the ground all around him. Aladdin couldn't reach the lamp. Lago decided he had to help his new friends. The brave little bird snatched the lamp and then dropped it. Down, down, down it tumbled into the bubbling lava. The lamp melted before their eyes, then it was gone. And in that instant, Jafar was gone too. Everyone returned to the palace. The grateful sultan made Aladdin his special advisor, and he took every good and he took very good care of Lago. Now that the kingdom was safe, Aladdin and Jasmine flew off on the magic carpet. It was time for them to see the world. The end. The end. So that is it for today, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Pick out your favorite page. Jafar looks like some kind of demon. He looks like the devil. It's crazy. They made him look so crazy. That's a good page.
The happy ending. Who's your favorite character? Sabat. Jasmine. That's a good choice. Bye-bye.